What is up you guys, my name is Bokusa and welcome to another quick little tutorial video that I'm going to be doing today. So today I'm mostly going to be talking about combat specialization and what it is and combat fame credits. This shouldn't be too long of a video, but either way, just to, for the sake of time, let's get right into it. So if you go to your destiny board, you're going to see several things. Let's say for example that I have a full set of gear on. I have a set of boots, plate boots more specifically, I have a leather jacket, I have a cloth cowl, and I have a great axe. So if you go to your different types of fame, you'll see them all in their own different things. So like I have level 100 plate boot craft, plate boot fighter, right? But I also only have level 57 plate boot or soldier boot specialist. I'm gonna go ahead and just learn this for the sake of later because I'm gonna be using the fact that this is zero to calculate stuff later on in the video. But one thing that I'm going to make clear from the start is that whenever you get fame with whatever you're doing, whether it be using tomes or killing monsters, it will actually give you fame in all things. So for example, I will get fame in my axe fighter, my plate boot fighter, my leather jacket fighter, and my cloth cowl fighter every single time that i kill something and eventually what ends up happening is once you've maxed out your stat you are given the option to auto respec and pretty much what this means is that if you reach the point where you've maxed this out whenever you kill something i am currently wearing a scholar cowl at the moment and so if I go to this and I look at the fact that I've maxed this out, but if I come down here to my Scholar Cal Fighter, I'm going to learn this again for the sake of examples. So now I'm at zero. Let's go ahead and kill this man's here just for the uh, sake of killing because killing is fantastic. Totally. Um, don't quote me on that for legal reasons. That's a joke. If we come over here to the Scholar Cal, you'll see that we've gained 83 fame in Scholar Cowls. And if we go down to Plate Boots, we will also see, once we get down there, that we have gotten 83 fame in Specialist as well. And one thing that you will also notice is that I have 316,000 combat fame credits. What these are, basically, means that if I've maxed out something, like I've maxed out Plate Boot Fighter, it tries to put 83 fame into this, but it can't. And so what happens is, whenever um, I get fame that overlaps, whether auto respec is turned off or on, I will receive a certain number of combat fame credits based on how much fame worth of monsters I have killed. And I was going to do this in like a blue tier static, but it looks like there's actually new players clearing this out. There's actually like four of them and my game is, my ping is, oh wait, here we go. Perfect. I'll just kill these guys here. It takes a minute for it to process, but right now we're at 316,489. And if we wait, we're at 316,495. So we've gotten six points. Now that's not really a lot. But we only got a total of 120 fame anyway. So that means that we got, what was it, six credits and we got a total of 120 fame. So we only got roughly 20 or 5% of the fame that we had received from the monsters. But that's also because not everything is maxed out. So basically what's happening here is whenever I kill something, it's trying to put fame into eight total different things. Plate Boot Fighter, Soldier Boot Specialist, Axe Fighter, Great Axe Specialist, Leather Jacket Fighter, Artifact Jacket Specialist, and Cloth Cow Fighter, Scholar Cowl Specialist. That's what it's, all the different fames are going into right now. But since I have two of them maxed out and they're the end ones, I'm actually transporting some of my fame away. But something that you can do, and you might want to consider doing if you have some spare silver and you just have something you never use anymore. Let's say, for example, that I no longer want to have 11 points here. As in, I don't want to have 11 levels in specialization anymore. 
for great nature staff fighter even if you've never reached a maximum level you can still get combat fame credits by clicking on this little yellow or gray icon here you can now go to the plus or minus to remove fame and add combat fame credits if i were to go back down to one spec which i don't want to do but i could I could give myself 270,000 fame credits at the cost of 681,000 fame and <clears throat> losing 20 item power on great nature stabs and costing myself 175,000 silver. So you'll notice that this actually does cost money. And what you can do is whenever we killed those monsters earlier, we got basically 5% of the fame that we had gotten. So for at 316,495, we're just going to go ahead and put that into, um, uh, we'll just write it out, 316,495. That is the current amount of fame that I, combat fame credits that I currently have. And I got six whenever I killed them. So if we kill these three again, because they've respawned for us, we have spent a small amount of silver. You won't be able to tell because unfortunately I didn't actually um like figure that out before i did that we now went up by five instead of four now you maybe think oh, actually no wait it's a little more than that actually it's a considerable amount more because 495 is now to 520 so we went up by a lot more and that's pretty much just because we're auto respecting one of the things that i have noticed and i don't know much about so hear me out on this if you go to auto respect something here I bring this down to level 8, I lose 60,000, 59,952 fame. I get 11 combat, 11,000, 12,000 combat credits. So basically, it's a 1 to 5 ratio. For every 5 fame that I remove, I get 1 combat fame credit. However, if I do it on something different, like say something like, let's see if I can find an example, like this. I remove 90,000 fame and I get 9,000 credits. So that's a 1 to 10 ratio. I'm not really sure if that's just artifacts or maybe it's just the type of maybe because it's an armor piece i think it's because it's an armor piece because looks like helmets and armor pieces are one armor pieces are one to five and helmets are one to one to ten and let's see i think this is also i think this is like one in 20 which is pretty bad and like weapons looks like they are a little bit better let me let's see yeah, it looks like it's like one to three almost, but that's because they're maybe because they're two handed. So I'm not really sure what all is going on there. You might have to do some calculations and maybe you can find the most efficient way to pull yourself in some extra combat fame credits if you're auto respecting should you reach the maximum. But I just wanted to kind of talk about this. And one other thing that I will talk about really quickly is something called 400 spec. One of the things that you'll know about Albion Online is that if you click on an item, you'll notice that it has a certain amount of item power. This item power pretty much determines it, it pretty much determines everything, honestly. So if we go to say an Adept's Great Axe, it has an item power for me of 790. If I look at the damage on Rending Strike, it does 154 damage, but for ease's sake, we can see this does 388. If we go up to the next tier, it no longer does 388, it now does 424. And that is because of the item power difference. If we scroll down, we also see that there is a physical damage difference as well. So not only do we increase our damage and abilities, we also increase our damage on like our auto attacks and stuff like that. So as your item power increases, the damage of your abilities increase. And if we use the destiny board and go to say, I've been working a lot on daggers recently, so let's go to artifact daggers. I think this is it. Yes, oh, this is swords. Ah, good enough for me. If we go to, say, um, the swords tab here, we have increased, we have earned a total increase of 26 item power for all types of artifact swords, and then plus 2.6 for all swords. If this were maxed out, this would be 220 respectively, because we're getting 0.2 for all items, for all swords, and then 2 for artifact swords. So ideally, if you were to, say, max out all of the swords, every single one of them, 
you'd get 20 for all, 20 for all, 20 for all, 20 for all. And then if you come here, you come here and you get 20 from all as well, equaling a total of 100 item power for all swords. And then for maxing out one, you get an increase of 200 for a specific type of weapon, which means that should you max out one of your specializations or all of your specializations, you can increase your items tier by two to three levels without actually having to buy a more expensive weapon. This is why it's very useful to be able to stick to one type of weapon and not jump around, but also whenever you do finish a type of weapon, even if you continue to use it, you're still giving yourself combat frame credits, which you can use to level up different things. So let's say, for example, I wanted to get some points in Halberd, I could give myself 16 item power just by using the ones that I have sitting around. I just recently really got this unlocked, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about it, because now that I can actually say I've done it, I kind of know how the system works and pretty much the things that you can do to mess with it. So if you have any questions, do leave a comment. I do respond to every comment as long as my YouTube does notify me. I respond to every single comment that I get. If it, especially if it's a question, I should respond to it pretty quick. And so if there's anything that I left out, please do mention it. I'm pretty good at leaving some things out in these videos just because I kind of, it's more of a ramble, an explanation ramble than it is like an actual thought out scripted um, tutorial. I just wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys and let you know that yes, there's a button here you can click and there's a lot to learn from this tab. So you might want to go through and look about some of these things. And one thing that I will also mention is that you cannot auto respec fame from tomes. I was going to mention that and I'm going to do it now. If we go to our soldier boot specialist here, we had 342 fame, right? And so if we um, use our Adept's Tome of Insight, we will go up by the 10,000 that it told you. So now we're at 10,342. Well, you notice that our combat fame credits haven't increased. And I, usually, and I said earlier that, you know, it takes a moment, but they're not gonna go up at all because you pretty much have to I think there's this mechanic where basically if you tried using a tome when you don't have something equipped that can gain fame, it gives you a warning message. And I think that means that whenever you're using a tome, if you can't gain fame in something, you simply won't. So the auto respec feature doesn't work. If I tried killing something, it would give me the fame for plate boot fighter, but it would actually just convert it straight into points instead of actually just making the fame disappear tomes don't work like that they just don't actually give you fame for the thing and so unfortunately you cannot use auto respec with the tomes that would be pretty useful i'm sure but that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about today if there's any questions you have do leave them in the comment section i respond to them pretty fast um if it gives me notifications about them this guy is rocking scholar sandals huh he's getting taxed a hundred percent hey you look like you could use some new shoes. What kind of boots do you like? Let's see what kind of boots he wants. I'm curious. Does he speak English? I don't, I don't know if he does. He, he, I, I guess he doesn't speak English. Anyway, I hope that that helped you out and told you what you needed to know about um, specialization. Um, specializing in weapons is a very useful thing to do in Albion because it gives you a lot of power without having to spend as much money for things. It does take a lot of time to do, but in the long run, it is most definitely worth it. And that's one of the things I've been working on recently. Um, I am playing Albion a lot right now. And I'm not making a lot of videos on it, mostly because I go through honeymoon phases with this game where I'll play it for a month straight and then I just won't touch it for six months. That's just how I play games most of the time. So I don't see myself uploading any content really other than maybe occasional tutorials. If there's anything that you guys want me to cover, let me know. I don't make tutorials on things that I don't really know a lot about or things that I haven't really done myself. 
Um, one of the things I regret uploading that I have, um, that I have since worked on more is my island. I have done a little bit more on my island, and I probably need to remake that video, and I may or in the future if you guys want that, let me know. Um, anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial, whatever it might be. Leave some comments in the comment section, and we'll see what we can do. And, God, this game's been so laggy recently. Oh, man.